place real? That depends. If real is what you can feel, smell, taste, and see, then real is simply electrical signals interpreted by your brain. Pikachu, I have in my hand two pills. You take the blue pill, and the story ends now. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the Diglett Hole goes. But be warned, dive too deep, and you may never return. This is the infinite investment game. I'll talk about alternative investments and collectibles. This is not particular investment advice, but if you listen to this, you will be a better collector and you'll make smarter decisions of where to put your money as far as investments and collectibles. And we're going to be talking about a uh, car ladder for the most part. Um, so basically what we're looking at here are the indexes. Um, and we're going to see what's going up in the last few months, year, five years. Um, and I'll give you a little bit of why I think it's going up and whether it's going to stay that way or it's going to change, okay? Also, please like, comment, and subscribe. and shares with me people as possible. We can feed the YouTube algorithm. And let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, so here are the indexes. Um, I'm doing this on January 1st, 2023. This is how things go week by week. Things are slightly up, which is cool. Um, UFC, Pokemon, low end, high pop, free war, vintage baseball, tennis, golf. Um, we have uh, Culture 51. Um, basically, what's in Culture 51 is a lot of pop culture cards. I mean, we could do it in the last year. It's been kind of crazy. Middle finger graph right here. Index was at 18,000. Now it's like at 50. Damn! Whatever that means. Um, let's see what, what cards are in here. Um, you know, pop culture cards, Dark Vader, you know, Star Wars cards, Star Trek. Um, you have 2010 Nini Justin Bieber, uh, Tops Jay Z, Garbage Pail Kids, May the Force Be With You, you know, um, 1990 Tops George Bush. Um, they may have an Obama card. I know I have a gold Obama. Um, PSA 10, I believe the pop count is like eight or something. I really haven't seen another PSA 10 go on eBay. Oh my God. Oh my oh God, my God, bro. G.I. Joe? G.I. Joe? G.I. Joe? It could have been anything else. Um, you have the Three Stooges, uh, Zero Cool with Gary V, Snoop Dogg, 1995 Panini Smash, Kim Kardashian, um, Bruce Springsteen, um, the Rock, this is going down by a lot. Apparently now the value is $3,476 for a PSA 9. Uh, this car probably would have sold for $50 or $60 for a PSA 9. So a large decrease. National Treasures, Jason Alexander, more Kim Kardashian, uh, Nirvana. So yeah, yeah, this is a bunch of pop culture stuff. And these are kind of everything, I guess they put... Man, everyone at that particular grade is um, part of the index. So that doesn't even mean cards not in the grade. And, and this is kind of ranked by score. You can rank it by other stuff uh, like pop count, you know, 1000 for the Stanley 1990 Marvel cards. Um, we can also go back here. Um, yeah, and, and this is and what's going down the most is wrestling entertainment and a culture 51 uh, i don't really look at the last few maybe the last six months the culture 51 was going crazy but if you want to compare it to the last year um looks like the pre-war vintage stuff uh that's that's normally the safest to be honest with you because most people are collecting it um or maybe there are a few people flipping but it's not as many flippers it's really just collectors and investors and people didn't grow up with this stuff uh because it's so old so that's why they're buying and it's really more it has longevity um uh, it doesn't have the crazy swings so you don't really have the opportunity of making an extremely amount of money but uh it's safer um doesn't mean it won't go down but you can still it's rare but once you get it um if you get it at a good price um it, it could almost be guaranteed profit once you understand the vintage market and it's not all these crazy parallels and stuff like especially pre-war vintage um tennis has had a long way coming up in the last um 
year, in a sense, see what cards are outliers, kind of like how it's been um, last year. So what cards and outliers? Top 2020, Mike Trout, um, very high population. Very high po population, um, but that's just raw. Um, you have this upper deck, and I think it's just like random cards that they kind of put in that doesn't fit into any of the other indexes, like this 2020 LeBron James and specific cards. I'm not sure if they take certain cards out, but um, yeah, you got some Kobe, Albert Pujols, Peyton Manning. So more like modern cards of a lot of legends, in a sense, or, or really good players, either good players or Hall of Famers. Um, and a lot of cards are non-rookie. Some are rookie. Um, but it could be confusing. But I'm going to be honest with you. In the last year, um, UFC has gone down 61%, which is huge. Here we go. You dip, Daniel? You dipped. Why are you dip? I mean, the, the fact that, and here's the thing. People really haven't been collecting UFC cards until 20, 2009. So when you compare it to other stuff and the collectors that are in the soccer, basketball, football, baseball, um, longer t collecting timelines for people, um, even tennis, there's some small wrestling. There's a small, it's smaller. It started out smaller. But at least there are people who did collect video games, stuff like this. But 2009. So um, normally how I look at this is the things that have been around the longest, like a baseball card, like like a, a Jackie Robinson, um, stuff like that. That's super old. Um, there's less volatility. It's more stable. It can go up a lot, but the likelihood is less. It, it's still going to go up. Um, but because of the safety, there's less volatility um, versus. Something, say a Mike Trout or, or, or a new prospect coming out. It's a newer car. The newer stuff, there's more volatility. There is opportunity for you to make a lot of money, but it's opportunity for you to lose a lot of money. So when things are going crazy, the more volatile stuff, which is the newer stuff, typically goes up more. For UFC, technically, you know, vintage is 2009. But to basketball or football or baseball, that's not vintage. That's, that's modern. Um, so vintage for basketball and, and football is more like you know 60s 70s maybe maybe 80s so so i think that's the thing um i think that's the thing that people need to understand that they're not understanding um so when things go awry though yeah when things are going up the, the new stuff goes crazy for the most part there are exceptions but it goes up the most part but when there's the opposite end people don't really know how to uh handle themselves i'm gonna be honest with you I mean, expect, you know, things to be OK or you know maybe go down by, maybe by 20 percent or whatever. And they think it's going to go down not as much because the next big thing. But they end up being wrong. We got it. End of story. I already did a video on undervalued percentage. Um, but yeah, like. Market cap value, just give some examples here. Looks like this gold here has the highest value, which makes no what well, a super refractor, super refractor. And then a Khabib car for 2021. And then this gold 2021. And then jury. I don't know why you would maybe they think it's gonna be all time great. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, I think a lot of people lost a lot of money from this stuff. Hmm. PSA seven. This is interesting to me. I'm gonna go to the other stuff as far as the indexes, but sold in 2021. Stuff is going down. So I think Expect this to actually go down, be less for the review. We'll see. All right. Um, let's, let's go back to this. Uh, as far as the year change, uh, soccer is another one that has gone down. Racing is another one that's going down. Um, basketball has just came into its own. That's going down a lot. Football has really come into its own. Uh, wrestling, there wasn't as much hype. But there has been more popularity in golf. So that's why you see these large declines for baseball has been much less because it's more stable. It's been around longer people collecting it. Um, and you had a larger pool of people back in the day. So five year change. Everything's up um, here. Here's here's the other thing I want people to really be careful with. Um, I, I was reading the psychology of money and they talk about like tails and um, how how to invest and gain the most money and how people end up getting rich and things such as that. The thing that you have to be cognizant of is that when you're buying, <laughs> when you're buying cards, 
you know what? I so so basically when you're buying cards, a lot of people think, oh, you know, if I just stay in this forever, but most of the gains actually happen in a short time period. Honestly, it's better off if you can kind of, you know, somewhat pay attention to the market, but notice signs in one or two years, you can sell everything. You can literally sell everything. Um, and uh, yeah, or you could buy everything. You can literally buy everything. Um, example would be, you could have got out of the card market in 1993 or something like that and not buy any cards whatsoever. Invest in the stock market, do real estate, all that stuff. And all that money you gain, you can come back in in 2016 and then make more money than people who are in it since 94, 93 and just stayed in um, and build great collections. Or, you know, got in it in 2018 and buy a bunch of stuff. Um, honestly, the longer you're in, it helps you, but most of the gains actually happen in the last, you know, five years in a sense. That, that that's the most of the increases really have happened in the last five years. If you compare the last five years compared to it doesn't show here, but since '94 to 2018, the last five years outperformed that. If that makes sense, um, and then so people see these things and they see tennis going up three thousand percent, golf going up one thousand percent. Football is going up a thousand percent. Soccer nine hundred percent. Modern seven fifty. Uh, ultra modern over six hundred percent. Basketball over five hundred percent. UFC three hundred eighty two percent. Racing four hundred percent. Entertainment, you know, uh, high pop two hundred and fifty percent. Nobody buys high pop and it goes up two hundred percent. Here's the thing. A lot of people are going to be getting in the market and trying to stay in the market, and they're like, "Oh, well, you know, the next five years is going to be similar." It won't even be close. Um, people is like, oh, well, you know, it went up that much. So instead of going up by, uh, you know, it's not every card, too. A lot of cards stay stagnant. Um, a lot of cards, you know, went back to what they were or less. But the thing is, you know, a lot of cards that people are going to buy, they think, oh, well, maybe it won't go down up 3,000%, but it'll go up 500% in the next five years. And that, that beats the S&P 500, you know. Um, or it's going to go up, you know, they're like, yeah, I'm not going to be greedy. It's going to go up a hundred percent. You know, I, I double my money in the next five years. Um, and I think people have to be cognizant that there are a couple other things that are involved in this. I don't want to burst people's bubble. Sure. You want, you want to, you want to be told that, oh, I can invest money and I can, you know, sell it for 10 X, hundred X, you know, get in a really nice car and nice girls and, and a nice house and retire. Sure. That's what you want to hear, but let, let's be real here. Um, most people are going to lose out because there's transaction fees, there's insurance, maybe um, stuff could get lost or stolen. Uh, the other things I think that are that are massive issues, I would say, would be um, there's other investments. You can invest in S&P 500 or Bitcoin, or NFTs or whatever, you know, real estate, you know, precious metals. Um, and there's some other things that you can probably get out of. It. So if, if you buy a house, um, you do own equity in that home, you live in it, you know. It serves multiple purposes. It's very, it can be used as a productive kind of thing, um, but also you can rent it out to other people and get that residual, that income that's coming in all the time. And then, you know, once they move out or whatever, uh, you can use that to pay off the mortgage and you maybe get extra money coming in. And then you could also sell the house as well um, and make more money and, and combine that and put that into another investment um, or use that as kind of like collateral to get a loan, um, maybe get a loan that's like, you know, less, less of an interest rate. Um, or it could even be a decent way to build credit uh, in, in certain aspects. Um, same with stocks. I mean, you can do the S&P 500 um, and reinvest, get dividends and invest in dividends or do dividend stocks. Um, or you can do a CD and where interest rates are going up, maybe get 6%. There's other things that you can do. Uh, I think a lot of people aren't aware. Um, and then they put that stuff in cards and they're just like, Oh, you know, I'm gonna put it in a car. It's gonna be, you know, make a bunch of money, and I'm gonna outperform all other assets. And I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm doing better than average. When most people aren't even doing average, to be honest with you, most people will be doing better than everybody else if they just stay with S and P 500. To be honest with you. So yeah, yeah. Um, not only for the index. So what's going up? Most of tennis, golf, and football may actually see the largest declines. I know a lot of people love football. A lot of people loving soccer. But you can still see some more major declines in soccer. Uh, low end, racing, entertainment, high pop, hockey, 
um, have gone up the least. It's been most stable. And that's why you probably really be seeing hockey go up in the last year because it's been more stable and just overlooked in, in general. Um, so it's something to be cognizant of. Max changes. Looks like Ultra Modern is the one that's went up the, the, the most, but I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, they For this index, they change out cards. So um, there's some stuff that's going to be Ultra Modern a few years from now. It won't be Ultra Modern um, in, in, in Card Ladder. And it's still going to look like it's going up when the truth of the matter is not. Because um, a lot of that stuff crashes and goes to less than what it's worth. Um, you, you can see here, tennis. I don't know how long that's going to last. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. Because outside of Serena Williams, who's retired, she's going to be doing nice things in the future. But you won't have those gains. A lot of those gains have already have come. Um, Naomi Osaka is promising, but she got to get focused on tennis. That's not her main focus. She's focused on so many other things. Um, and tennis is very hard to see that on an individual level. Um, you have other stuff, uh, you know, the three men, Roger Federer, you know, is retired, Novak Djokovic and Rafael Nadal. So Rafael Nadal is going to retire soon. And eventually Novak Djokovic is going to retire. And it's going to be a while before we see another tennis player uh, reach that status. Yeah, they'll be winning, but it will be a while to see them reach that status. So, um, it's going to be less of people that you can invest in right now who is making games and doing things. Yeah. So it's not only for that. Um, we're share, but there's a lot of other people that are just already um, had their gains. Football is just quarterback craziness. I mean, people paying hundreds of thousands, even millions of dollars on quarterbacks who didn't even go to playoffs yet. Um, it's really interesting. Uh, Pokemon um, it has been going up since 2016 with Pokemon go uh, high end stuff. You know, crazy, modern, low pop stuff, basketball. A lot of stuff is going to change. Um, vintage. I think vintage is going to be most stable, to be honest with you. And then we go to players. Number of cards. Um, there's 1,700. Jordan Carson, LeBron, and then Kobe. These are the most popular people. Luca, Tom Brady, Mickey Mano, Ja Moran, Kevin Durant. Giannis, Zion, Patrick Mahomes, Steph Curry, Jason Tatum, Shaq, Mike Trout. It's going to be very interesting for uh, what you might call it. Market cap, huh? 81 million, 10 million, 22 million, 126 million, 55 million, 28 million, 60, 27. Ah, interesting, interesting, interesting. Uh, da, 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 da. Total market cap. Looks like the Mickey Mantles, Jordan. Bryce Harper is interesting. We'll see if it, it keeps that. There's only 68 cards. LeBron, Tom Brady, Babe Ruth, Jackie Wilson, Will Lee Mays, Kobe. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Five year change. What's going up in the last? Let, let's let's do the last month. Who's been a hot player? Ward Miller, Taylor, Dalt Hit, Bob Marley, Swan, Franco Harris. Alvin Adams, Sean Havlicek. Wow, John Havlicek has been going up. Trevor Lawrence, Warren Moon, Pascal Siakam, Devontae Graham. Interesting. Six-month change. Mox Jet for Magic the Gathering, Robert Veach, Franco Harris, because he passed away. Jalen Hurts has had an amazing season. Uh, Shea goes like Zion has a good season individually, but uh, they got a long way to go to win championships or, or even get into the playoffs. Luka Modric, you know, he's played well. Connor McDavid is doing fantastic. Yeah, a lot of, I don't know who Joe Barry Carroll, but it's probably just these two guys, 1986 Fleer. It's probably just for them to um, finish a set. That's why he pays so much. Aaron Judge had a great season with Damian Thomason. He won't be up for the Hall of, maybe it's in the Hall of Fame, I think. Well, yeah, LaDamian Thomason, John Havlicek, Paul Horizon, Alonzo Monin, Isaiah Thomas, huh? Isaiah Thomas. I, I don't know why his car is because he's not playing anymore. If Even if he is, it's just, it's just a flip. Marcus Canby, Francis Ngannou's gone up 25% of the last few months. So a lot of people are like, why the hell is this dude stuff so, you know, George, Mike, and Dwight Howard stuff went up. That's interesting.
And then let's look at the last year. The index for Anthony Simons. I mean, he's not going to get all-time great, but it's a nice flip. He's playing well. A lot of people are excited. You know, Cooper Cup, you know, is is because of the Super Bowl. That's why this stuff went up so crazy. Frank Harris because the password. Kirk Cousins has a good year. Julio Rodriguez. Jalen Hurts has had an amazing year. Why Pete Verovich? I don't know. Why Kareem Abdul-Jabbar? I don't know why it went up in the last year. Aaron Judge, yeah, Kareem, and, and Pete Maravich has been going up. Maybe people think itself is bad. <laughs> the last five years, man, Patrick Mahomes made a lot of people money. Like, he made some people rich. People look for the next Patrick Mahomes, and it's like, there's no other Patrick Mahomes. There's no other Patrick Mahomes. He can be closest to Brady, but he won't be Brady, my friends. Josh Allen, the same. I had some Josh Allen cards, but I sold them. I made a profit, but, you know. Who Juan Soto has some Juan Soto cards, but I made, I made a profit. Alex Ovechkin. That's a name right there. Alex Ovechkin. Serena Williams. Tom Brady. Cooper Cup. I don't know how long Cooper Cup is going to last. The Spider Man. I don't know how long it's going to last. Travis Kelsey will not last very long. Uh,. Pete Alonzo, Lewis Hamilton, Tiger Woods, Cristiano Ronaldo, Derek Henry. Tyran Nitar, Dark Vader, Lamar Jackson, Roger Federer. Hulk Hogan. Uh, I'm not the biggest Hulk Hogan fan. I'll get into it a little bit. I'll make a video on him. Damian Lillard. Damian Lillard. Mew too, Mew. So this is some of this stuff is like you know more beneficial, I guess. But yeah, like why you see. So if you want to invest, you want to put money in. It's like what do you want to get? People want Patrick Mahomes. They want to find a young guy. Um, and then this is the success stories of prospecting because you could buy up a bunch of stuff from Patrick and Josh Allen and Awan Soto really early when most people don't really know what to. Think about the guy, and then he turns out to be amazing, and then that's where you go. Alex Ovechkin, Serena Williams, Tom Brady, Cooper Cup, Spider-Man. Cooper Cup is a you know somebody you can buy later. You could sell and then flip. Travis Kelsey would be a nice flip. P. Alonzo, nice flip. Lewis Hamilton, you can a flip. Lewis Hamilton, yes. You know why? Because this stuff can go down. Because he's still racing. If he has a bad season or something happens, it can go down, and you can buy it for a lot cheaper. A lot of people don't get that until it happens. Then it happens like, oh, I didn't know. It was like, yo, I've been trying to tell you, but it didn't register. Cristiano Ronaldo is another one. Derrick Henry, I don't know why his is going up so much. Why? I have no idea. Moses Malone. There's so much stuff as far as the cars they have in the car ladder has gone up by so much. Luca. But yeah, this is uh, the video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and peace. Or, you know, peace, peace.